North Threshold Regional Training Centre, in short BRTC, is a joint initiative with government agency IHL, German Chamber of Industry and Commerce, and JTC. And in this initiative, the vision is to drive adoption of advanced manufacturing in Jurong Innovation District through two key pillars, certified training and pro-concept programs. Hi, I'm a proof of concept lead uh, in Bosch Extra. So after approaching various companies in Singapore, I find that there is an inherent willingness of these companies to move away from the status quo, to move towards I4.0 transformation, to become more productive and efficient. When a customer comes to us with a problem statement or pain point, we will then evaluate whether our solution architecture can address their problem statement. Flexmac is a machine tools equipment supplier. Uh, our objective is to bring the next, the cutting edge technologies to the aerospace, the oil and gas, and using uh, Industry 4.0, using uh, 3D printing. Uh, our objective, of course, is to have increased efficiency and effectiveness for the Singapore uh, SME factories. In factories, there are a multiple kinds of machines, the new machines and the older legacy machines. So legacy machines have a problem is that because we are not able to extract data, uh, so they are kind of left out of the uh, production cycle. So another aspect of the uh, IoT uh, Industry 4.0 is that it's able to do machine condition reporting. Uh, that's very important because in SME factories in Singapore, including mine, um, if the machine goes down, we have a big problem. So we wanted to incorporate the sensors uh, into the machines in SME factories so that we are able to monitor uh, the condition of the machine. If the machine is going to spoil, then there's something that we have to rectify before the machine breaks down. The data is actually not um, digitalized. So a lot of the information coming out is based on the honesty of the, of the operator. I approached uh, Bosch Rextroff and uh, explained to them my problem. Uh, I gave them a problem statement and uh, through the POC, we actually came up with a very good solution uh, to help to rectify the problem. So this is one of the machines that we have in terms for the 3D printing uh, industrial printers. So one of the problems we have actually is that uh, for the material of the 3D printer, it's actually very humidity sensitive. Uh, so when we actually started printing this, uh, started to use the machine, we faced a lot of rejects, a lot of problems. And uh, one of the causes is that because the materials absorb too much, hum too much moisture, it's too humid in the air. So we actually lost probably about eight thousand Sing dollars worth of uh, materials due to the humidity. So we came to uh, Bosch Rextroff with the same problem. Uh, we gave them a problem statement: is that we needed to monitor the uh, humidity inside our material cabinet uh, so that we are able to maintain a, a, a better production for the 3D printing. Once we had the solution, we needed to know how to maintain the system and we needed to upgrade the skills of our operators and the people, the engineers, uh, to make sure that the data is being read well. What exactly is Industry 4.0? So we came back again to uh, uh, Bosch Rexroth Training Centre um, and in collaboration with SP, we actually uh, attended, I think, multiple courses uh, to understand the basics of Industry 4.0, uh, to understand the fundamentals of the Bosch Rexroth system and what exactly are we monitoring for. We attended the AHK I5.0 specialist course uh, that was organised by uh, Bosch Rexroth, the German Chamber and SP and it was run by the SP lecturers with the industry practitioners. Uh, I thought it was very well run. Uh, it was a very intensive course. We, set, we went for the first course and I think that our company will continue to send uh, our staff to subsequent courses. Uh, other than that, we also appreciated very much the bite-sized courses that was run by SP uh, to understand a bit more on uh, very specific details of a technology. So, in a sense, we have actually learned a lot and I think that we have, we have to continue to retrain the staff to make sure that they are on top of their game.